Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Happy May 11th, Brian Shea. How's it going? Happy May 11th. We are upon us is Zelda Day. Well, we are very yes. excited for this. Well, as, as Zelda Day Eve, right? It's it's reviewed. It's Zelda Day reviews Eve. go live day. <laughs> you know, so. Uh. So yeah, we are very excited to be here with you streaming. And I'm Kyle Hilliard. I forgot to say that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah get that in yeah <laughs> it's early uh kyle it is so nice to be here with you to get a good look at the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom maybe the most anticipated game of the year and it is finally here well but it's not though you're it's tomorrow <laughs> it's a, a lot of people are going to be playing it tonight that's true you know what? okay there you go there you go but yeah we um yeah welcome to this stream we're we're uh we're just going to play the first 30 minutes of the game uh, so spoil. There will be spoilers for the first thirty minutes, um, but they will be light. And I'm actually I'm gonna go and kick it off, so we're not sitting here waiting too much. Um, had to make a guest account uh, so that I wouldn't uh, overwrite my save, which I'm at about eighty hours at this point on <laughs> into the game. Uh, so uh, so I've been playing a lot. Uh, you can check out the review on GameInformer.com, which is live now. And um, Brian, you've also been playing, which I think you're on a similar. Um, time stamp to me even at this yeah point. i'm at about i think 65 hours at this point so i'm a little bit behind you right. but i uh i have accomplished a lot in this game <laughs> yeah oh yeah again no spoilers even though both of us have rolled credits on this yes um, yeah we would know maybe we'll we'll take questions from the chat and things like that but i think even then we'll be very cautious about what we talk about in too much depth and stuff like that and i've set a timer on my phone brian um, for when this timer goes off, we're shutting down the stream. But we'll, gloom keeps getting but, but we'll stream more tomorrow. I think Marcus and I are going to play more tomorrow as well. Not not picking up from this save, but um, you know, I love this opening. Yeah, it's so good. I'm just going to watch. We've been <laughs> yeah, descending right? for a while now. Uh, and it, you know, chat, if you're if you're tuning in, like, what could we'll, be done I'll here? even skip cutscenes if you want. You know, like we don't have to go. If you really, uh, whatever you guys want, man. I do have to fix my controls. Sorry that. Oh we're yeah, using you're it. you're an inverted guy. I know. I'm sorry. What a weirdo. What an embarrassment that this is how you have to learn. Yeah, this is the beginning of the game. I, the thing that blew my mind when I started playing this was I have full hearts, which oh, is yeah. something you can't get in Breath of the Wild. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> we're here. It's the future. <laughs> People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these the caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough. So to this is, I mean, this basically we'll is keep going. the I very first teaser Hyrule that showed Castle. Link and Zelda walking underground. This mm -hmm. is kind of what we're seeing here. They've left that beast behind. We do not know what idea, waits below, I think, so we need to be know? ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Yeah, we never did, uh, at least in the beginning here, you'd ever see that beast. Yeah. Yeah, I, I almost thought that it would just be fully the cutscene that we saw. Like, that was the teaser, but that's not really the case. Like, obviously, you're seeing it here. It's gameplay. Like, it really throws you right into the game, which is nice. Uh, I don't think I have the paraglider down here. Yeah, I don't have the paraglider. Uh, do you have the master sword? I do love that it. it's uh, it's glowing. Yeah. Oh, I had to wait for Zelda to. <laughs> Darth Burrito says Happy Embargo Day. Mm. Yes, that's what we're celebrating this morning at 7 a.m. is Embargo Day. The master sword. Which, by the way, not to send people away from our stream, but you can read Kyle mm. Hilliard's full review on GameInformer.com. That's right. And I'm gonna. I I'm gonna skip this kind of this dialogue here. Um, you know, it, you will you can re read it when you play the game yourself, or if you want to watch the archive and, and really see what she's saying. Um, there you go. But we, we got to get to the game. Oh, did I miss an examine prompt? Oh, Kyle. This is why they actually said that we could do the first 30 minutes because they knew that the <laughs> there are so many things we needed to look at that right. it would take 30 minutes before anything happens. 
Beaten down Brian says, "Hey guys, I can't stay, but my collector's edition just showed up in the mail. That's that's early, isn't it? I know uh, Nintendo is going to be so mad. <laughs> I think Beaten down Brian is not based in America. Ah." Um, uh. Uh, Wesley, Wesley LeBlanc? I don't know who that is. Uh, we have someone at Game Informer named Wesley Ble LeBlanc who works here, but I assume this is a different person. He says, what game is this? Looks cool. Uh, <laughs> this is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the new Zelda game. Sweet when I was sword. At, when I was at GDC, whenever it was, whenever Fortnite just hit, I walked up to a bunch of people, and it was like the biggest thing on the planet. I walked up, and everybody was watching Fortnite up on the big screen at GDC, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, what game is this?" And they all looked at me like I was an idiot. And I, obviously, I was being an idiot because everybody knew what Fortnite was. There you go. That's the first com. That's the first thing you kill in Tears of the Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. You are not hurt, are Aside you? From Link? this atmosphere. <laughs> Gosh, I. I kind of forgot how longish. This is not a complaint. Like I like the sort of slow burn of the beginning, but I kind of forgot like that this does take a little while Look to set up mirrors. to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, how much, how much, how how far are we gonna make it in 20 in 30 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I want to be ultra handing anything in 20 minutes. We'll see. The or 30 minutes. The stories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought yeah, long ago. Down Brian did get it early. Congratulations, it was a man. Between allied tribes. And someone only ever referred the to Squirrel as the Demon says, King. The says, very excited about the Keese eyeball arrow thing myself. Yes, very handy. It is. Is it possible? What am I going to these It's actually smart that the they showed legend? that, I feel like, before the game. Because it was nice to just know that going in. Because <laughs> it's a very handy uh, fuse. <gasps> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. Hmm. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Love the music. There's a lot more music in Tears of the Kingdom, which is. I nice. think so too. Yeah. It is said that my ancestors, but a lot, but a lot of returning of tracks Hyrule's as well, which I'm family, not complaining about. Were mm -hmm. born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate. And the gods mentioned were the Zonai. Oh boy. They must have forged a irony. with the Hylians I've never played a Zelda. Which should be my first? Together to establish I mean, at this point, maybe Breath the of the Wild? Of no, Hyrule. at this point, play Tears of the Kingdom. Dive in. I Everyone's mean, going to be playing it. It's going to be you, super fun. You could. It's part, of the, part of the of discussion. Power from yeah, the young kingdom. Fair. Might be a good idea to get the foundation with Breath of the Wild, though, because the yeah. what I've read there's a the lot studies. in Tears of the Kingdom. There's a lot going on. And then this. It shows the Demon King. I mean, I think it's one of those games where it's like you him. benefit from having played the first one. Well, you benefit <laughs> tremendously from having played the first one, but it's not a requirement. If the creature like, I think it would be really fun for this to be your first Demon time King. you enter Hyrule. Well, then... I think that would be a cool way to play this game. Because you and me went into this with a lot of knowledge of the world already, which I think pays off in spades. Like, I think it's a really cool way to play Tears of the Kingdom. I think that the game benefits this a lot from taking place in Hyrule again. But I think it would be super fun to just this be your first time visiting this Hyrule, if that's an option war. for you. I think that'd be really cool. And the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. <laughs> this is, uh, oh dish. Now they choose this invention of Pura. Looks uh, remarkably not like a Wii U gamepad anymore. <laughs> something something changed. Uh, now it looks Zelda like Zelda got the, the leaked looks prototype like the of the Switch the too. I know they released a Switch. I kind of the moment I saw that I was like, why didn't that special Switch look like this? <laughs> like, God, that would have been so cool. Why not? I mean, I like that switch. Maybe I like the way it looks, but um, ahead. they designed a switch that you Link, use in the game. Why not deeper. sell that? But whatever. I don't know. What do I know? Mayonnaise Man the Third said Breath of the Wild was their first Zelda game. I think that was the case for a lot of people, honestly. I mean, it certainly it has certainly sold the most of any Zelda game by a huge margin. So, you know, just for that reason alone, there, there's a good chance that this would be the first for many people. I am not going to talk over uh, this next part because yeah. it is really cool. Do I even have it? I, I was 
let's see. Can I go full screen? I don't have it set up for that. <laughs> so you saw a glimpse of <laughs> my desktop there for a moment. Apologies. Okay. Ready? What is that? She didn't watch the teaser. You know, she didn't watch that old trailer when they announced it, so she doesn't know what this is. This is her first time. happening in the cutscene affecting the UI. I just I love it. <laughs> Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. I do like dehydrated. It's creepy, man. <laughs> Which that did not happen in that original trailer, right? The dissipating into golden light. Eagle-eyed YouTubers did spot that her hand started glowing. Oh, she really? Yeah. Of course they did. I should be surprised. Yeah, it is. It's fun to have watched that teaser so many years ago, you know, and just like thinking about that. What we've been thinking about it for. Four or five years now at this point? Six and then years. Six years? I mean, the teaser specifically, no, I guess is years. what I'm saying. Yeah. Four years. And to like finally see the full context of it is just like, it's so exciting and cool to finally be like, okay, what's happening here? You know? All right, that's what happened. <laughs> and Ganondorf's entrance does not disappoint. No. He's a creep, man. He's a total creep. You can see my, my face is even bathed in the green light now because it's like... So the dust mat is asking, is it a bunch of story up front, then hardly any for 200 hours? I would say it's, it, it is more story heavy in the front, but I think that's true for a lot of like open world games. But there is story sprinkled throughout the entire playthrough. Yeah. But of course, you can experience it 
as concentrated or not as you want. Like you, oh, it gives you the choice um, in how you want to experience it. It is it is comparable to Breath of the Wild in that way, in the way that you sort of interact with the story. I'd say a little bit more story I've heavy heard than a great deal Breath of the Wild was. I think so. Yeah, but I'm, but I guess what I'm saying is ag- agreeing with you in that. Like you can kind of tackle it at your own discretion. You know, mm-hmm. your wounds were severe. But yeah, Breath of the Wild, if you remember, death. was like, wake up, Link. And then you, you're you playing almost immediately, arm, where this at least has, you know, I had to some cutscenes and stuff. The injury endanger you further. Gotta, st- <laughs> gotta have that, uh, you know, no shirt shot early on, you know. <laughs> gotta make Link sexy right away. <laughs> oh, poor Master Sword. Look at it. Oh, I can't even... I don't even have any of my tools yet, Brian. I can't do anything. Just trying to zoom in on it. This is probably <laughs> fine. I don't want to worry about it too much. Yeah. Duke Faison is asking if he should avoid this if he hasn't played Breath of the Wild. And I think that the first 30 minutes of this, you'll be fine. You know, actually, I... And I'm, that's an interesting question. I'm, I'm thinking... Oh, wait, wait... They're asking. Avoid watching the first thirty minutes of this gameplay stream. Does like does this have spoilers for Breath of the Wild? Yeah. I, yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. And also, it, like as far as even like appreciating the gameplay, I think that it's similar enough in at least the foundation of this that yeah. it won't it won't spoil Breath of the Wild's gameplay either. I mean, they are very much separate tales. Like you know, it is it is an acknowledged sequel to Breath of the Wild, but like. Characters, plot, etc., are pretty distinct. Nub seven seven seven. Oh my God! There is talking in here. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the voice in the game. Yes, there's uh, more voice acting in this, I think, than Breath of the Wild. Well, not in a, like oh, like every single person you encounter is going to be. Like voice actors, but it's uh, I think more fleshed out in at least the cutscenes and everything. How's that master sword sticking? Oh, he does have like a he has something on his chest there. Okay. Uh, rich bad at game. Can you say how long you got with the game for review? I hope you didn't have to crunch too hard. Um, we've had it for we've had it for a while. I I I think the time was generous. Right there, was, are, there are definitely occasions where that is a problem, where you do not get the game in enough time. Um, but I, I feel like I, and I did play a lot, right? Like I, I, I played a ton very quickly because I was very excited about the game. But I, I feel like I managed to play a lot and you know get our review written and everything in time. So yeah, I, I was, I was happy about that. And, not- and for those. That- People joining us just now. Kyle has, who wrote our review, put in about 80 hours. I put in about 65 hours or so as of last night, and I'm still going, even though I have rolled credits. I'm I'm running around and doing more stuff with it. Uh, we got code on April 26th. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Brian, I got, I, I I wanted to take the time to acknowledge this is like the shot, right? This is like the opening. Like here we go. Mm-hmm. This is this is the walking out of the cave moment, you know and <laughs> <laughs> From Breath of the Wild. Look at that. What, all those things over there. What's that? What's that? Oh my god. <laughs> I know. I stood there for Still a little exciting. bit. I this love so this. Ugh. I'm not in control, but I just I love like the the setup here. Just like Just a great little tease of like The adventure ahead, the nice sweeping camera shot. It really does feel like the camera, like in Breath of the Wild, where it kind of zoomed out to like look at what was ahead of you. And it still shows so little. It's so clouded and, you know. You can see a, a dragon over there. Yeah. That's a hell of a title screen right there. It really is. <laughs> The B Digla says, Brian, would your review be similar to Kyle's? Uh, yes, very much so. Uh, this is a phenomenal game. Yeah, it would, that would be an interesting question when you sort of like have gotten your thoughts together. Like, if you would have 
been in the same exact zone as me, or if you would have had any, you know? I mean, I think I probably would have landed. I mean, I'm, again, I'm still going through it, but I, I have rolled credits, yeah. and I only have, like, a little bit of, like, major stuff to do within the game. Um, still a ton of side stuff, so don't don't think that, like, 65 hours, yep, yeah, I've seen everything. No, I've, no I feel God, like no. I've seen, like, 50% of this game. <laughs> I, I feel like I've seen maybe 60 or 70 at, like, 80. I have still so much to do. Yeah, it's, um... Okay, so Dick Grayson is asking, Hey, Brian, a hi is Hyrule Historia a good coffee table book? I have Creating a Champion and was wondering if it's a good companion piece. It is. So I have all four of, like, the official Zelda, like, art style books. So it's, like, Hyrule Historia. What are the other... I can go grab them. Like, it's right there. I'll be right back. I'm picking up all kinds You're of stuff. You're on your own, Kyle. I'm on my own. Yeah, those. So these items I picked up: the Zonai charge and the soldier construct horn, or construct horn construct. I can't really do anything with those yet because I don't have all my abilities. But uh, you know. All right. It's all gonna come in handy. So here we go. We have. Let's go with the stick here. <laughs> Magnitudes of lore. Oh wow! <laughs> so much lore. So here we have the Hyrule Historia, which I believe is the twenty fifth or 30th anniversary that they put this out. That is kind of like the lore book um, for everything, I think, preceding Link Between Worlds. Then next up, we have the Arts and Artifacts, which is just more of a straightforward art book. We have the Encyclopedia, which is just, as it says, an encyclopedia. You can look up various terms and characters and stuff. And then crafting a champion or creating a champion, which is the Breath of the Wild focused one. Hold on, Brian, we're getting we're getting our switch. Okay. I mean I'm sorry, sorry. Pura Pad. Pura Pad. That's right. Did I oh, yeah. this weird one? What is yeah, that? This one, Kyle? I I don't know what that is. I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> it doesn't look official, but it's a hard copy book of a from an author named Kyle Hilliard. What did is I, this? Did I give you that or did you buy that? You gave this to me. Oh, okay, I was about to say, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Look at that. Thanks for showing that off. Yeah, that is my beautiful. Book that so, oh, where can you even I? buy those anymore? I think it's on Amazon, yeah. Oh, go check it out. The Big Book of Zelda by Kyle Hilliard on Amazon. By me. Oh, I didn't get it signed, damn it. Well, it's too late. I know, I'll never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we've only got about five minutes. You know, I think I missed my shirt. Right? Link's shirt? Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. I think I walked it's away okay. from it. We should just push forward. Push forward. Push forward. Which is, I, I mean, that is something you can do in this game. Is like you can miss major things uh, for large portions of the game. <laughs> to the point where, you know, once everyone's made a little uh, progress in the game, when people have... You know, people have beaten the game and stuff like that. I, I'm excited to talk about uh, my path through the game because mine's a little funky. I think Bar Brian and I talking through it have both discovered that we tackled things in some weird ways. And I mean, that's the great part about this game. Like, I recognized that as soon as I went to that preview event back in late April was like, so much of this game is just like experienced at your own pace and at your own... <laughs> route like yeah. there are, i'm sure there are a million puzzles when you and i actually sit down to talk like how did you do this how did you do this i bet a lot of us did things a lot of people will do things very different from one another yeah a lot of our discussions at this point at least the way i approach them is like oh what are you doing right now in the game oh this is that's what i'm doing and i'm like okay because i don't want to say anything else i don't want to be like oh have you tried this or anything yeah, I was I, I was stuck on something last night, and I messaged you just a little bit out of frustration, and I just got no response. And I was like, "That's that's fair." I, and I, I and there was a reason for that. Down. Yeah, I, where I was just kind of like, "Well, I don't want to. I don't even want to like hint anything or like say anything that might make him think. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't even want to assume. Oh, I'm I'm actually. <laughs> I will admit, I'm a little uh, laissez-faire because I'm used to having uh, a lot more hearts. <laughs> yeah. Kind of forget that it's like, dude, you've only got three. So let's, uh, hey, let's let's eat some apples here. 
Just to be safe. Now and down. I would hate to use the last. What do we got here? Just a, two more minutes uh, to. Can you just jump off the side? You know, like, let's it, try would that. Would it let you? I don't think. I, we'll see what happens, but I don't think so. But might as well, right? What else am I going to do in two minutes? I'm not going to go solve It is funny how. Puzzles. I mean, I guess if you were going to the, the, the structure over there, maybe that would give us some story. Hey, there you go. So how would you ever get back? Okay, it won't let you. I was going to say, yeah. if it lets you dive down, how would you ever get back up? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, to be clear, like, this is a ra this is the beginning. This is a rare instance where that happens. I don't think that ever happens in the game otherwise. I yeah, once you get through this. So yeah, try to make a beeline for that structure. Yeah, uh, I could go talk to that guy over there, but you know what? We don't got time for this. I'm gonna say this is Radani 42, uh, Radane 42. Apologies if I'm not uh, pronouncing that correctly. The graphics look awesome. The renders were weird last week with the leaked game. Yeah, I will say that the uh, you got to be careful with like some game leaks because uh, you know maybe it's not the game at its best, and oftentimes there's like launch patches and everything that you have to take into consideration. Which I think, yeah, I think this game has gotten, um, Patrick. Better eat some apples. Rusty broadsword. I think I ate all my apples. I should be fine. Well, I guess. I'm not fighting anybody else. You hope not. Although I am... Yeah, it I is funny how, going. like, much more careless I got with, yeah. once I had, like, a bunch of hearts. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And also a bunch of, like, recipes that gave me, like, defense up. I love the look. I love I love how his new arm looks. I think it just looks so cool. Oh, that's right. You can't really do much until you do the other stuff. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. This is Raru. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. Oh gosh. I don't think he revealed who it you was. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> For a moment, I was like, wait, did I spoil it? <laughs> it's, it's... Spoiled the entire game, uh, Kyle. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. So I'm going to talk over Raru here because we're finishing up the stream. No um, we've been streaming for about 30 minutes at this point. Um, where, uh, let's see, Terrace Dale case, Ray asks, uh, so you guys put about 80 to 60 plus hours into this game. How many hours would you guys say would be necessary to beat the story if you were to just focus on main path? You might be more? able to restore it. That's a tough but one. Yeah, it to does. There's no clock on, in the save file, which is a bummer. Uh, you have to wait until your switch will acknowledge how many hours you've been Why playing, which is how Brian, how island. Brian and I know how much we've been playing. I assume that's how you. Which know, I Brian. think is about eight or nine hours, or eight or eight or it's nine eight, days. Yeah. it will, it will update. Now eventually. I will say I, I would, to estimate, I think I Trial. saw credits yes, at sure about forty or fifty. Oh wow! And I, I was pretty hardcore beelining because I really wanted to at least see credits to start writing the review. So I, I went, I went story focused a little harder than I would have if I was playing casually. But so that's my rough estimate. But it's hard to be, to be. Bye, accurate. Oscar. Oscar was saying bye. Oh, bye, Oscar. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's that's like I said, rough estimate. Not totally sure if that's accurate. And it's like it's in your best interest to explore anyway to be strong enough to tackle the end and that kind of thing, which is how it was in Breath of the Wild. But um. Oh, here we go. Love that old that old uh, mechanic of marking things just by looking at them in the distance. Uh, oh, it's very intuitive. It's Used so it funny. constantly. I still can't believe I, I forgot the shirt. That's so funny. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's going to cover it for this morning. That's uh, We're just playing for about 30 minutes here just to offer a taste and not give too many spoilers. We did not even get out of the tutorial area. We did not even make it to the first puzzle shrine thing but i mean yeah the review uh is on gameformer.com we have uh which I, I i wrote and then we have a great video review which was edited by charles hart i think that came out really well i think you did a great job you so you can check out the video review we'll have a bunch more tears of the kingdom features in the coming days i know brian you've been doing a lot of amiibo work 
So um, much amiibo work. So much amiibo work. I'm so tired of having amiibos just scattered across <laughs> my coffee table. And I by actually, the way, uh, I need to uh, use. I need to do the bokoblin for you, actually. Yes. Uh, and also, if you want some in-depth discussions about Tears of the Kingdom that feature both Kyle and myself, the Game Informer show, we have a discussion there, and then tomorrow's episode of Things Nintendo will also be focused entirely on Tears of the Kingdom and our in-depth impressions. We're going to try to keep it as spoiler-free as possible, so uh, yeah, tune into both of those if you feel so inclined. Favorite podcast platform. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and and um, I think the last thing we'll plug is I believe uh, Marcus Stewart and I are planning to stream more Zelda tomorrow, uh, so tune in for that. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching this morning. Hopefully, y you don't feel like we we spoiled too much of the game. Uh, we really didn't want to show too much, but um, yeah, here's the kingdom. I gave it a nine point seven five. It's fantastic. I freaking love this game. It's so good. Uh, it's very good. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.